Let's talk about the best laser pointer ever for cats. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. So this is a group of laser pointers. These are just some of the laser pointers that I've had for the cats. Um, here on the left, I think this one is the one you could get from the Dollar Tree. It's like a dollar and it has batteries inside of it and it lasts a little while and then the batteries go dead and you have to put new batteries in there. Um, and with four cats, you tend to go through uh, a lot of batteries really fast. Um, they don't, these laser pointers don't tend to last very long. Uh, this is a promotional laser pointer I got from PetCube. Um, they're probably giving it out at an event that I went to. It's really similar to the one from the Dollar Tree, practically the same exact one. And then this one is a laser pointer. It's a little bit bigger, a little bit better quality. Uh, the batteries last a little bit longer, and I think uh, this one is really similar uh, to that one. Uh, the difference with this one is it has interchangeable um, lenses. I don't know what exactly what you would call them, um, but it's kind of like, almost like a stencil, so um, so instead of just a, a small laser, uh, this can actually project like little pictures. I think this is the Halloween one, uh, so you could do like a witch or a skeleton or a pumpkin and stuff like that. Um, so that's what makes this one cute because you can do uh, different holiday themes. I have another one for Christmas and uh, the cats like those too. Uh, the issues with these again are I go through batteries really fast. I feel like I go through batteries every few days and then you know you gotta go buy more batteries, put the batteries in. It can be a pain. Uh, and then I got this uh, laser pointer which is the best laser pointer ever. It's obviously a bit bigger uh, but what I love about this is that it is rechargeable. It recharges via USB, so I never have to worry about buying batteries for it. Uh, this holds a lot more power, so even right now uh, it's on and I've been using this for quite a while. I mean, I've, I don't remember the last time that I recharged this and it's still... Uh, it's still going strong. The other thing that I like about it is that the size of the point uh, that you see here is just a little bit larger uh, than the laser points from these other laser pointers. So that's nice because it gives the cats, uh, you know, a little bit something more to go after. Uh, with these other laser pointers, when the battery starts dying, um, the size of the laser point gets smaller and smaller. Um, so the fact that this one is a little bit bigger to begin with just makes it last uh, even longer. Now this also has a few more features other than just the laser pointer. It also has a UV light feature. I don't know if you could see that, but it has a UV light on it. So uh, if you wanted to use a UV light for something, uh, you can. And the other thing that this does have is a regular flashlight. So I could use this as like a regular pen light flashlight which is great. I could use it as a UV light and then I could use it as a laser pointer light. So it's like three in one which is awesome. It's made out of metal. I think this is like a stainless steel and it does have a nice clip on it. So if you wanted to clip it onto like um, your belt or your pants or uh, a shirt or uh, a bag or anything, um, it keeps it from getting lost which is great. And it also has a wrist strap. So I get a lot of use from this laser pointer. Um, I absolutely love this product. I can easily say that I think this is the best laser pointer ever for cats. And I love that it has a long battery life because, because when you're playing with four cats, you're playing four times as long as you would as you were playing with one cat. So, um, so yeah, this is a great product and I will put a link to this product on Amazon in the description below this video. I'll also leave it as a comment. So here's Boo. He's laying on the day sofa in his room. See his pillow? It says Boo. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo, the Lucky Ferals.
This is the new cat grass for the turbo scratcher. And the old cat grass is still in the turbo scratcher. Stella discovered this grass on the kitchen table. So I figured I'd put it in the turbo scratcher because it is grown enough. Look at this. Boo wants to eat some also. Guys, let me put it in the turbo scratcher first, okay? Just give me like a minute and I'll put it in the turbo scratcher for you, okay? Okay, guys, come on. There it is. Hopefully it's in there. This part is sticking up a little bit. But as long as the other parts are in there, then it should be okay. Boo, you could eat some. Stella's sharing it with you. You can eat some boo. Stella's sharing it with you. I'm surprised Simba's not here because he loves cat grass. Okay, you hang out with Stella. Uh-oh, someone jumped off of a cat tower. Who is it? Who's it going to be? Who's coming down the hallway? Someone else jumped down. It's Simba and Splash. Who's here? It's Simba. He heard his name. And he heard me say cat grass. Come on, Splash. Get some cat grass. Come on around. There's plenty of room. You could share it. You okay, Splash? Uh-oh, still says she doesn't want to share. Okay, Boo, you can have your cat grass now. Boo, eat your cat grass. Boo, you want to eat your cat grass? Eat the grass. You want me to pick a piece and have you eat it out of my hand? No. Wanna eat a piece? Okay, don't chew my finger. Simba's purring. Simba says he'll have a piece of grass. Was that yummy, Simba? That was yummy? Everybody shares the grass, okay? Everybody shares it. Everybody shares it, guys. It is 8.52 a.m. and Grandma and Grandpa are going to be here any minute. The cats have had their breakfast, uh, they have fresh water, litter boxes were cleaned, and they can't wait to see their grandparents. And here's Stella, she's waiting for them to show up. She's watching. She knows they walk across the patio. And look what else is going on here. So we have a new Happy Halloween rug by the back door. Isn't that cute? with a black cat on it. And Stella has a new rug downstairs. This one says, Hello Pumpkin. Isn't it cute? And here's Splash. He's getting ready to hide. When Grandma and Grandpa show up, Splash hides, usually under the blanket near the sofa. He thinks nobody can see him there. And here's Hydrox. Hydrox ate all of his breakfast. He had a big plate of food, and look at that. He licked that plate clean. Come 
on, Stella. Come on, Simba. Very good. Who is yours? Here, yeah, Simba. Not boy. Hey, Simba. Come on, Stella. Come on. Stella. Stella, what's the matter? You don't want to move today? You don't want to move? It is your treat. Come on, this is yours, Simba. Come on. Come on, Simba. Over here. Over here. Good boy. Have your treats. Eat it up. Eat your treats. Everybody has their own. Where's Splash? Under the bed, I guess. You gonna give him some? It is 1.35 p.m. and Simba was just laying by the back door like just total all of his paws in the air and look at this look Hydrax is laying by the back door too look at that Simba was hanging out with Hydrox. It is 5.08 p.m. and I thought I would show you Hydrox. There's a lot of reflections on the glass, so um, try to look past those. And he's sleeping by the back door. And this is what he did yesterday also. So yesterday, Grandma and Grandpa Farrell were here. And Hydrox spent almost the entire day sleeping here by the back door. He really likes Grandma and Grandpa. Or she, you know, if Hydrox is a girl, she really likes Grandma and Grandpa. I think, I feel like Hydrox is a boy, but Hydrox could be a girl. And um, I think it's because Grandpa put a window in the shelter under the house. And I think Hydrox really appreciates that. So that's why Hydrox was very friendly to Grandma and Grandpa. When I say that, um, you know, Hydrox did not let them pet him or her and um but he didn't run away like he was hanging out right here by the back door all day which he never does so i think uh that's a good sign and even right now he's so comfy so all the cats slept late i slept late today we had a very late day and then probably around noon i opened the back door and i did not see hydrox anywhere so what i do is i then like i knock on the back door i knock on the glass and he'll come running from wherever he is. Um, he might have been in the shelter. I'd have to check the security cameras to see. And then he hangs out by the back door. And I give him some food. And he ate two plates of food. Almost a full can. And I was just hanging out here. He also likes to talk to the cats through the door. He really likes hanging out with like Simba by the door. And even likes to talk to Stella. All the cats are resting today. Today is a gray, cold... Um, it hasn't rained yet. It's just like really gray and cold day. It's not super cold, but it's like one of the colder days that we've had so far this season. And it's the kind of day where you just don't want to do anything. You just want to like lay in bed all day and maybe watch some videos or play some video games and just relax. And that's what I've pretty much done all day. And um, yeah, so there's Hydrax. It's 2 p.m. Let's check in on the cats. So here's Boo. He's laying on the day sofa in his room. See his pillow? It says Boo. He's laying on the new. The new Halloween quilt. He loves it. He's been laying here pretty much all morning so far because he had his um, breakfast in his room. My right, Boo. There's his Boo pillow. There's his other Boo pillow. And there's a pillow that looks like Stella. And there's a Hydrox pillow. And there's a Boo pillow. And here's a pillow from Eva Lash. It looks like Simba. And look at this artwork. It says Boo. And there's Boo Super Boo Cape. So what's been going on the past few days is that when Boo does not eat his breakfast downstairs with the cats, I put it up here in his room and then I shut the door. That way Stella and Simba and Splash, they can't eat his food on him and it gives him a chance to eat it. And sometimes he doesn't finish today, he didn't finish it. 
Here's what's left on his plate because Stella came in and she finished it. But at least he got a really good chance to eat as much as he could himself. There's Splash. Splash is on top of the cat tower. He's all curled up because today it's pretty cool out. It's kind of cold and wet and rainy and just a really good day to stay home. Even though I was out all morning. And here's Simba. He's sleeping on the bed. And here's Stella, still sleeping on the bed also. Simba, you're so cute and floofy. You're so cute and floofy. Simba, you're so cute and floofy. You're winking at me. You're winking at me. While the cats are resting, let's open up some mail. We have some mail here from Carlos DeLuca. And let's see what we got. So, a whole bunch of envelopes. We got a moist wipe. This is a travel pack, individually wrapped moist wipe. Thank you so much, Carlos. These always come in handy. What do we have here? We have another moist wipe. These are really great to have. They keep your hands nice and clean. And look what we have here. We have some old stamps. These are from all different countries in the Netherlands. It looks like Denmark, uh, the UK, I think, Finland. That's really interesting. I've never seen these stamps before. Let's see what's in this envelope. Looks like a letter. This says, Lucky Ferals, love your videos. You're the best videos and you're the best YouTuber. I'm nine, huge fan. I like your cats. I like your cats. They're adorable. Wish I had cats like that, but I have cats and they're cute. Well, that's awesome. I'm glad you have cats and I'm glad your cats are cute. Thank you for the letter. And okay, here's another envelope. And here's a Chuck E. Cheese coin. This is Chuck E. Cheese where a kid can be a kid, 2009. And what's in this envelope? And that envelope had some posty notes in it. Thank you very much. And here's another envelope. And look what I got, I got a mask. That is awesome. And then what do we have here? Here's another envelope, so many envelopes. There's an envelope inside the envelope. Dear Lucky Ferals, how are you doing? I'm doing good, Carlos. I'm glad you're doing good, Carlos. Dear Lucky, how are you doing? I hope you're doing great. Your cats are cute. Hope you're having a nice day. My day is good. I'm glad your day is good. Hi. I'm nine, huge fan. I'm nine years old. I like your cats. I don't have anything to give you. I'm sorry. Forgive me. That's okay. You don't have to give me anything. Letters are fine. Hi, 
Hi, I have cats too. I have a few. I have nice cats. Hope you have a nice day. Have have a great day. I just realized that this might say four years old. I wonder if this is four years old. Carlos, are you four years old? Are you four years old or are you nine years old? I'm sorry if I read your age wrong. Here's another envelope. And here's another mask in the envelope. Thank you so much. And here's the last envelope for today. Let's see what's in here. It's another mask. Thank you very much, Carlos, for all of this awesome mail. I hope you're enjoying the videos. It is 6.20 p.m. And I just gave Hydrox some food. I put the plate right next to the house. There is about six inches of dry space next to the house. So um, that's why I put it there. It's been lightly raining all day. And Hydrox has been hanging out here right next to the door. He's been hanging out on the watermelon map. And... I don't know why. He has two shelters to go in. He actually has three shelters to go in. Um, but he just wants to hang out by the back door. So that's why I gave him his food here. He's getting two scoops of the homemade raw food with some warm water mixed in. And it looks like he's going to eat it. And I refilled the automatic feeder with dry cat food yesterday. So he's been eating out of that also. Simba, Hydrox, and Boo, the Lucky Ferals.
Look how nicely they share a plate of food. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It is about 10 a.m. right now, and the cats just had some playtime. And Simba and Splash were sitting so cutely near this grass that I decided to get the camera, but the minute I turned the camera on, they all move. But Stella says that she'll go sit by the grass because she uh, had a lot of fun this morning. Stella jumps really high when I swing the pink boa around. Right, Stella? You love the boa. Stella says she loves the boa. It's her favorite toy. And here's Simba. Simba says I need to throw more pom-poms around the house. Simba, the problem with that is that we keep losing them. Okay, Simba? There are so many pom-poms in this house and we have no idea where they are, so we need to find them first. And here's Splash. Let me tell you about Splash. So last night, I was watching TV and I was sitting here on the rug with the cats and Splash was letting me pet him so much, like more than ever. So he's getting really good with that. And this morning, he even participated in the playtime. So he was chasing the pink boa around the house. So that's good for Splash. He's loosening up a little bit. And there's Boo. And Boo's favorite toy is the dragonfly. And Boo is running up and down the hall chasing his dragonfly, which is good. Now they're going to eat breakfast. Today is a cold and rainy day. And some of the leaves on some of the trees are starting to turn colors. It's 12.36 p.m. Look at what's going on here. Three cats on the bed. They've taken it over. And here's Boo, he's on his day sofa. Hey, Boo. Boo ate all of his breakfast today. He finished it here in the room. It's becoming a routine, right, Boo? He says he likes to eat in peace with nobody else trying to steal his food from him. Right, Boo? Yeah, I know. I'm here with Boo, and it is mail time. We got a whole bunch of letters, so let's see what the cat's got. Okay, here's an envelope. What do we have here? These are NFL stickers. Look at that. NFL stickers. What team is this? Is this the Falcons? I believe this is the Redskins, or did they change the name of that team? So uh, these are from Carlos DeLuca. Thank you very much for the stickers. And here's another envelope. Let's open this one. See what's in here. Boo's watching me from across the room. We have a moist wipe. Thank you very much for the moist wipe. There's Boo. He's checking it out. He's smelling the letters. Okay, Boo. You want to help me open the next one here, Boo? Come on. Boo, you going to help me? Going to help me open this? And that was from Carlos DeLuca. I believe these are all from Carlos. Look at this. It's another moist wipe. Thank you very much for the moist wipes. These always come in handy. Okay, and here's another one. And look what we have. We have another moist wipe. Thank you very much for the moist wipes. And here's another envelope. These are all from Carlos. I believe they're all from Carlos. Let's open this one. What's in here? Look, it's a moist wipe. 
I am totally set for moist wipes. Thank you very much. And here's another envelope. What's in this envelope? Ooh, look what we got. It's a moist wipe. And these moist wipes have vitamin E and aloe in them. So that's very nice. Thank you. Here's another envelope. It's a little bit of a bigger envelope. It looks like there's a letter. Dear Lucky Ferals, thank you for your buying my face mask from Carlos O R L eight six on eBay. Is that what that says? Thank you, Carlos. And here's another envelope. And we have a moist wipe. I have a whole set of moist wipes now. Thank you very much. And here's another envelope. What do you think it is? What's in here? What is it going to be, a letter or a moist wipe? It's a moist wipe. Thank you for the moist wipes. And here's one more. Let's open this. Oh, look what we got. We got a moist wipe. Carlos wants to make sure that my hands stay clean and I kill off any bad germs. Thank you very much. It is 6.45 p.m. right now and I just gave Hydrox some food and Ditto came by for dinner. I'd show him to you right now, but he's behind a flower pot so you can't really see him. I gave him some food on the patio. He only ate some of it. He's just kind of hanging out right now. But what happened earlier was I heard Hydrox meowing a lot on the patio. And I was like, I wonder who he's talking to. And I looked outside and sure enough, Ditto came walking onto the patio and Hydrox and Ditto, they walked up to each other. They kissed each other like, you know, they smelled each other's noses and uh, they were both happy. I don't know where Ditto went this afternoon, but he just came back for dinner and Hydrox was meowing at him also. So, Hydrox had some raw food, now he's having some canned food. And there's Ditto on the other side of the flower pot. You could probably hardly see him. And that's the food I put out for Ditto. It's the same food that Hydrox is eating right now. Look at what's going on here. Ditto and Hydrox are sharing a plate of food. I found a pouch of Natural Balance. I think it's tuna and beef. And I just gave that to Ditto. I warmed it up with some warm water. So when I want to warm up cat food for the cats, what I do is I warm up some water in a kettle. Sometimes I'll bring it up to boiling uh, if the food is in the refrigerator, and other times I'll just heat it up and warm it up. And then what I do is I mix in some of the warm or hot water into the food, and it warms the food up nicely, and that way I don't have to put it in a microwave. I don't use microwaves, so um, so that's how I warm up the cat's food, and and it does not have a negative effect on the food. Look how nicely they share a plate of food. Isn't that nice? Normally I feed Hydrox pâtés and what I gave to Ditto um, is the kind that has like chunks or shreds in it. Ditto tends to like those. But well, it looks like Hydrox has been eating those also, so that's good. And they both look really good right now. Like their coats look much better than before. And it looks like they're putting some weight on for the winter. But you know, outside cats are always going to be thinner than indoor cats. They just have a lot more stress when they live outside. I 
I just gave the outside cats another pouch of food. This is some of the food from Germany. I know Ditto really likes that food. So I split it between the two of them. I added some warm water to it. Also, uh, now that the weather is getting colder, outside cats need more calories, so. They're eating a very good meal. And it did rain all day and yesterday also, so they might not have eaten well for the past two days. Usually when it rains, the cats kind of hunker down somewhere. Even though Hydrox was hanging out by the back door pretty much all day yesterday. And he's hanging out by the side of the house today, so. But look, isn't that nice? The two of them are hanging out together, having a meal. It's 8.45 p.m. Look what's going on in here. Splashes on top of the armoire near the penthouse. I don't know if he was in there and then just came out or if he's thinking about going in there. They're still in Zimba, they're on the bed. It's kind of weird for them to be in the bedroom at night because usually they're in here all day and then at night they're in like the living room. And here's Boo, he's back on his day sofa. He slept on this day sofa all day. Stella, that's the biggest hairball I've ever seen, ever. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It is 4 p.m. and the cats are doing a live stream today. And here's Boo, he's on top of the cat tower. When I turned on the live stream earlier today, Boo was laying on the bed with Stella and Simba, and Splash was on the cat tower. And the minute I turned the live stream on, Boo had to jump off of the bed, or he moved over out of, uh, out of view of the camera, then he jumped off the bed. Um, but now he's back, he's on top of the cat tower. And here's Splash, Splash is laying on the bed. And here's Stella. Stella hasn't moved much all day. She's still in her uh, favorite spot on the bed. And I don't know where Simba is. But right now it is mail time. So let's see what the cats got. They got an envelope here. And look what we got. We got a face mask. And this is from Carlos DeLuca. Thank you very much, Carlos. And here's another envelope. 
what did we get here? It's another face mask. And this is also from Carlos. Thank you very much, Carlos. And here's another envelope from Carlos. I wonder what's in it. Oh, look at this. We have two moist wipes. We have a playing card. This is the Eight of Clubs. And then we have some lens cleaning wipes. These are good to clean glasses or sunglasses. Thank you very much, Carlos. And here's a package from Canada. Let's see what we got from Canada. Check this out. The cat's got some butterfly toys. There's a butter. These smell really good. I must be smelling the catnip. Isn't that cute? Each cat got a butterfly. They're going to love these. Those are really cute. Thank you very much. And this says a sticker book to brighten your day. Unique designs, hand drawn and hand lettered by Dana Lee Collection. Oh, these are cute. These are like calendar stickers, like planner stickers. Aren't these cute? Oh, these are awesome. Thank you very much. I'll definitely be using these on uh, my calendars. It's really cute. See the little pumpkin? Looks like a haunted house. Oh look! Do you see who's in the window? It's Boo. Boo's in the window. Oh, thank you very much for your generous donation. It says, it says, have a hauntingly happy Halloween from Nicole LaRue. Thank you very much, Nicole. It says, on October the 1st, we will return in our house due to the COVID-19 bars and restaurants will be closed. At the end of October, I will see the doctor to check if I'm allergic to cats or if I was only allergic to Amy. I hope I could have another cat because I had one or two for over 40 years. I am preparing my moving because repairs on my condo could be done in a few weeks if it is possible during COVID-19 and after that return to my condo before Christmas. That would be great. I continue to watch your videos. Your cats are so cute and friendly. Hope the situation is good for you and your bunch. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, Ditto, and Boo. Thank you very much, Nicole, for this lovely card. I hope the doctor says that you are not allergic to cats and it was only a strange occurrence there, um, especially because you've had them for so long. Um, good luck on the repairs with your condo. Thank you for the donation and the goodies. And yeah, things are good here. Uh, I've just been uh, enjoying the uh, change of season and just trying to make the most of uh, the long days before the uh, you know clocks get turned back for the fall and then it starts getting darker earlier every day. So everything's good here. Thank you for asking. Okay, here we have another envelope. Look what I got. I got a moist wipe. Thank you very much, Carlos. And here's another envelope from Carlos. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at all of these stamps. Wow. There's a lot, there's a lot of stamps in here. Look at all of these stamps that Carlos sent. These are all United States stamps. Some of them are very old. And some of them, I remember from like the 80s and the 90s. I think the 90s. Definitely some from the 80s. I see here some from the 60s and the 70s and even earlier than that. These are really cool stamps. Thank you very much, Carlos. 
And here's another envelope from Carlos. And we have a moist wipe. Thank you very much, Carlos. And here's an envelope for the cats. Let's see what this is. Check that out, look, it says boo. Oh, thank you very much for the generous donation. And look at this. Look how cute. You see that? Look at that. It's a pumpkin. It's a jack-o'-lantern. Isn't that cute? And it's a magnet, so I could hang that up. It's really cute. And check this out. Look at the scarecrow. Do you see the scarecrow? That's really cute. Are these handmade? Oh, look, it's a magnet also. These look like they're handmade. This says, to the feral family, things can get a little spooky on Halloween. Watch out and enjoy it. Your friend, Linda Madden. A little donation for the kitties. I made these magnets. That is so cool, Linda. Thank you so much for your generous donation. And thank you so much for these handmade magnets. They look adorable. I will go hang them up on the refrigerator or the freezer downstairs where I keep all the cat's food. Thank you for thinking of us. And there's one package left. Let's see what this is. This says, enjoy your gift from J.N. Dexheimer. Thank you, J.N. Look what the cats got. They got some Pure Bites minnows. I think these are three packages of minnows. Check that out. Look at this. Three packages of Pure Bites minnows. And these are freeze dried, so they last a very long time. And Simba loves these. He eats a few of these every day. Um, I usually give him like uh, two or three on his meals and usually around 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. sometime like in that time frame he'll usually find me and he'll want like another two or three minnows so that's usually when he gets his fish snacks also I do give these to the other cats they get a few on their meals also and sometimes they get these as snacks depends on what kind of mood they're in sometimes the other cats eat them sometimes the other cats don't but simba always loves these so uh, thank you very much it's 8 30 p.m the cats just had a bunch of playtime. they're all running around the house stella was running around like a kitten and i was sitting at the kitchen table a few minutes ago and all of a sudden i heard that noise that pumping sound not a hacking sound, not the hairball hacking sound, but the pumping sound. And I said, oh no, what is this? And I was like, where is it coming from? Well, it was coming from right under the table. And guess who it was coming from? It was coming from Stella. And so I just sat there like watching, like what is she going to do? Because, you know, she's going to puke whatever it is on the floor. So at least uh, it's easy to clean up. And I was trying to think, I was like, well, she hasn't had any food since breakfast. So has to be a hairball, even though it wasn't a hairball hack. It was that pumping noise. So I'm going to show you the biggest, stinkiest hairball I have ever seen. Stella, that's the biggest hairball I've ever seen, ever. Look at this hairball. This is a massive hairball. I mean, that's like twice the size of a typical hairball. So now I have to clean it up. And if I didn't know any better, I would think this was a bunch of poop. But it's a hairball because I literally watch Stella cough it up. It is about 8.30 p.m. I'm just about to feed the cats and I wanted to give a shout out to Alex Lachette for their super chats today during the live stream. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the live stream. And the cats are now going to have some dinner. Right, Simba? Simba, you want to eat? Okay, we eat. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo, the Lucky Ferals.
Fresh, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. I got a witch from the Dollar Tree. I thought the cats might be interested in it. Is Stella gonna check it out? Simba's gonna lay next to it. Simba, do you like the little witch? You like the little witch, Simba? Here's Stella, she's laying next to Simba. And here's Boo, he's interested in it, but he doesn't wanna get too close. Splash says he's gonna keep his distance also. What the cats don't know is that I can turn this witch on and then she's gonna light up and she's gonna cackle. You think the cats are gonna like her then? Okay guys, you ready for the witch? <laughs> Boo, do you like the little witch? She's supposed to be motion activated. But I guess she's not. Is she broken? <laughs> Do you like that, Boo? You like the little witch? I don't know why she's not working. Stella doesn't like it. She says she doesn't really care about this witch. She says she's hungry and she'd rather eat dinner. Splash and Simba don't want anything to do with it. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo, the Lucky Ferals.
is 9.47 a.m. I just looked out the back door and who was staring at me? It was Ditto. And there's Hydrox. Ditto, you be nice to Hydrox. You be nice to him. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. I'd like to give a shout out to April and C.R. Barboni. Thank you so much for your patronage and your generous support. We have a zero tolerance policy for being mean to cats on the patio. You got it, Ditto? You understand me? Ditto looks like he's filling out nicely for the winter. You know, cats always get skinnier in the summer and they fill out in the winter, and I'm talking about outside cats. Inside cats, you know, they're, they're on a different cycle. But uh, outside cats, they get skinnier in the summer, and they put on, they usually put on weight for the winter, and they also have a summer coat, uh, which is shorter and lighter than their winter coat. Winter coat's heavier. So I'm gonna go get some food and put it out for Ditto and Hydrox. And look who's watching. It's Boo. Boo says he wants to know what's going on. Boo's very happy because they had canned food for breakfast because I forgot to defrost raw food. They had a can of Waruva. It was chicken fricassee. And I did not film a review of it. I should have filmed a review of it because the cats really enjoyed it. Maybe when I open the next can I will. I just gave Hydrox and Ditto each a plate of food. So they're getting some of the wholehearted chicken recipe. That was a pate in a can. And that was like half of a can that was left over in the fridge. Then I opened up a pouch of Sheba for each of them. Because I know Ditto likes that. And so that's what he's eating. Hydrox is under the patio table right now. It is 6 p.m. And today is National Feral Cat Day. There is a live stream going on right now. And Hydrox is eating his food. I just put some raw food out for Hydrox with some warm water in it. And I don't know where he was today. It rained all day. It was a gray and cold day. And the back door is all kind of fogged up. And when I went out earlier today, Hydrox was laying next to the house. He has plenty of shelters to lay in, but he was laying next to the house. So I hope he eventually went in one of the shelters. But thankfully, the rain let up and uh, I can give him some food. It's still very light drizzle out, but if he eats his food fast, it won't turn to a puddle. Do you see this cat? I don't think this is one of the tabbies that I saw the other day. This one looks like it has short legs. It's hunting something. See how short the legs are on this cat? I don't know what it's hunting. It's hunting something. But I saw it run across the street and I was like, what is that? And then I realized it was a cat. Maybe this is the third sibling. Um, maybe it's a brother or sister to the other two that we saw. It looks about the same age, it just has much shorter legs. I don't know if it's a birth defect or if it's just the kind of cat it is. Unless it is one of those and it's just crouching. Maybe it's just in like hunting pose. Oh, it was looking at a bird. This is why tabby cats are hunters, because their fur camouflages them so well. Not necessarily in grass like this, but like when they're in the woods, their fur really camouflages them well. And black cats are really good night hunters because, you know, at night you don't see a black cat.
There's a bunch of bugs flying around. And birds. Oh, now someone's walking. Someone's walking down the street. Okay, I'm back. I don't like people seeing me standing in front of my window with a big camera on a tripod. But this is a very nice looking cat. I want it to stand up so we could take a better look at its legs and find out if they are really stubby legs or if it was just crouching. Okay, now there's like a, a minivan. It's 10 a.m. Stella is laying on top of the towels on the bed. Stella, you like my towels? It is 8.40 a.m. Good morning, Stella. This is one of Stella's new favorite places. I saw her up here yesterday, but I couldn't film it, and I just got her today. How you doing, Stella? Good morning, Stella. It is 11.37 p.m., and I've only had this rug a few weeks now, and... It has just been vomited on by one of the cats, and that cat would be Boo. Look at Stella. Look at Stella. Stella wants to learn how to use a camera. Look at that. See how smart she is. She says she's going to learn how to use a camera. But what I was saying was, so I was sitting pretty much where Stella is right now and I'm just trying to transfer some files among hard drives and all of a sudden I heard that noise that pumping noise and I said what is that and it was coming from Boo's room uh, so I got up and I looked and Boo was right here and he vomited like a big puddle of vomit here and a little bit on this rug and it was very liquidy um, so I don't know if he drank a whole bunch of water before he ate or after he ate. Um, but this is like the second time in a week, uh, that he's vomited up like really liquidy vomit, uh, after eating. And, uh, so I had to clean all this up and, uh, this rug I was able to take outside, um, shake it out and then I took it downstairs to a utility tub in the laundry room and I was able to rinse it off. So this is like a plastic, um, you know, fake grass mat. And um, so thankfully uh, that can be uh, put under running water. Um, so that's what happened there. Then he walked out of his room and he wasn't done. And that's when he walked over to the rug and right about, right about, Right about there uh, is where he finished vomiting, and uh, that that's the first thing I cleaned up. And uh, I have to say, this rug cleans up uh, pretty well. I spilled some juice on it earlier, and I was able to clean that up uh, without any stains either. So uh, this, this rug's been pretty good so far. Boo, do you feel okay? Do you feel okay, Boo? So I did check the vomit today and the other day for worms and I didn't see any worms. So hopefully it's not a worm issue. It shouldn't be because he's eating the same food the other cats are eating. And um, I don't understand why he would get a worm issue and they wouldn't. Um, and again, I did not see any worms in the vomit. So it could just be that he drank too much water. I mean, 
it was a lot a lot of watery vomit so maybe that's the situation Stella's actually laying on top of my phone she's laying on top of my phone next to the camera okay Stella okay come on time for bed it's 7 11 a.m. I just woke up and he was giving himself a bath but I heard someone snoring and I said who's snoring there's no other cats in this room but look at this do you see who that is it's Stella Stella sleeping in the penthouse good morning Stella Did you sleep well? Stella says she loves the pet house. Stella just walked out of the pet house and Boo's on top of the cat tower. She hissed at him. So Stella and Boo have not been getting along for the past few days. I don't know why. So two days ago, I was taking all of my winter clothes out and putting my summer clothes away because the closet here in this bedroom is not big enough for my entire wardrobe. Before I lived here, um, in the last place I lived before here, I had a really big walk-in closet in my bedroom. So, uh, the closet here is definitely a downgrade. So I can't fit, like, all of my clothes for the whole year in the closet, so I have to kind of rotate them. And that's what I was doing two days ago. And when I was doing that, there was a massive cat fight in Boo's room. And I had no idea what happened. And, but when I walked in there, um, it was like uh, Boo was in the middle and Stella was under the day sofa and she was just growling, constantly growling. And then Splash was hissing at Boo and Boo was kind of like uh, between them. And... When I reviewed the security camera footage, it looked like uh, Boo and Stella had a standoff in the hallway or near the door to Boo's room. And um, Boo started swatting at Stella. So Stella ran under the day sofa in Boo's room. Then Boo followed her into his room and he was trying to get under the day sofa where she was but she was swatting and hissing and growling at him. So he didn't get under there. Uh, but then Splash, when he heard what was going on, ran into the room and he started swatting at Boo. Um, we know Splash does that. We know uh, Splash tries to protect Stella and uh, he also likes to get revenge for anything, for any of the cats that try to like attack Stella. So that's what was going on when I broke it up. That was two days ago. And then yesterday, um, when I was downstairs putting their dinner together, all of a sudden I look and Boo and Stella were having a swatting fight. Kind of where Stella's rug is or um, like where I feed them. And Stella was standing on her two hind legs swatting with both arms like a windmill. It was like, it was like a cartoon. It was so crazy. And Boo was swatting at her. And thankfully, they weren't close enough to each other to actually hit each other. Um, but it, I was like, what are you guys doing? They didn't stop. Like, when I tried to break them up, they didn't stop. So something's going on between them. They've been very agitated toward each other the past few days. And um, so, yeah, this is what's going on now. It 
it's really easy to get Boo off the cat tower. All I have to do is pat the bed and he takes a flying leap onto the bed. Hello Simba. This is Simba's favorite spot. This is where he likes to sleep at night. And then during the day, he likes to look out the window and take a nap here. Look at his paws. See how he's making biscuits? How you doing, Simba? Simba's very happy right now. Right, Simba, you happy boy? The cats just had breakfast a little while ago. It's about 5.30 p.m. right now. And I got some Amazon packages today. Stuff that I ordered on Prime Day. And one of them had all this paper in it. So I put it out for the cats and Boo's been enjoying it. Do you like the paper? You like the paper, Boo? The cats and I just had some playtime on the paper, and everyone was playing so nicely together until Boo had to go attack the cats. Boo! Boo! They just want to play with you. Thank you for watching this Lucky Farrell's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.